Um, can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Please go ahead. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, good day, uh, dear colleagues. My name is Andrew Androninka, and I'm a research engineer from uh, Kushatov Institute. I'll be talking about the implementation of value-based curiosity mechanism in reinforcement learning algorithm based on A3C. Uh, so uh, the task uh, we were facing uh, is uh, an ordinary reinforcement learning task that can be formulated uh, as an MDP. Uh, and uh, we have a discrete time uh, environment. We have uh, states, actions, uh, the rules, uh, of uh, transition in between states and uh, external rewards uh, that's uh, given up to us by the environment. Uh, and uh, we have agent that acts into environment and tries to maximize the reward. Uh, one typical algorithm uh, we've been taking as a baseline is uh, uh, the A3C algorithm, which is uh, an asynchronous parallel version of uh, the actor critic algorithm. And uh, the actor critic agent uh, can be represented as an neural network consisting of three blocks. Uh, here it is on the picture. Uh, and uh, uh, it's block S uh, responsible for encoding states. Uh, block V estimating the V value function. Uh, and uh, block A uh, predicting actions. Uh, and uh, common difficulties for this and many other algorithms are uh, sparse reward environments, because uh, uh, sparse reward uh, makes it a lot more harder to explore the uh, environment and to find the best strategy. Uh, and uh, efficient data utilization, uh, that's why the uh, not only online learning algorithms exist. Uh, one solution for these problems uh, is uh, curiosity mechanisms. Uh, the curiosity uh, is often implemented in the form of uh, an additional reward generated by the agent itself. Uh, I'll call it the internal reward. Uh, and uh, so the curious agents generate an internal reward for the states uh, they find interesting. And uh, there, is, there are a lot of uh, different variants. Uh, for example, uh, just a simple visit count. Uh, and uh, uh, we uh, give an internal reward for the states we visited uh, zero times or so. Uh, or there are different types of variants like estimating the reachability of states uh, or predicting the random networks output on these states to uh, give it an additional reward. Uh, it was shown that uh, curiosity mechanisms help us to improve exploration and uh, utilize data beta better because uh, the agent will uh, put more attention to the, uh, those uh, interesting states. Uh, but uh, different implementations may add computational overhead. Uh, the idea we present in our work uh, is uh, the idea of a simple uh, and uh, computationally easy curiosity mechanism. Uh, so what we do is uh, uh, taking the A3C sector critic agent, we add the new R block responsible for predicting the Q value function. And the error of this block is the internal reward uh, for the agent used to train the V block. So it's included in its loss. Uh, it is important that the R block only gets predicted Vs and predicted action probabilities as its input. And uh, it has an LCM lawyer, so it uh, can be aware of uh, the sequences of these and sequences of uh, actions prediction statement. Uh, and I also need to mention that the gradients are not propagated back from this block to blocks A and V. So uh, it can be 
equally treated as a separate network. Uh, uh, why this idea occurred? Uh, so we observed that in some environment sections taken in lots of states are not important and agent just learns to do uh, random but fix things and it becomes kind of a routine performed by the agent until it arrives at an important state uh, well uh, when the action really means something i'll illustrate it a bit later and uh, uh, while uh, these routine uh, routine uh, states uh, presented the block error uh, can easily adapt to have rather small error on repeating routine sequences of actions and uh, it's uh, also will have big errors when getting unexpected rewards uh, meaning that the important state was breached uh, we also used a signed reward uh, to decrease importance of states uh, which Q can be easily predicted uh, as well as uh, upgrade the importance of states which can be not. Uh, we've tested an A3C algorithm with actor critic agents uh, augmented with this R block on the task of Pong. It's Pong deterministic v4 from the gym package. Uh, we've got six actions available and uh, external reward uh, when goal is scored by each of the contestants. We've used uh, raw image input with preprocessing to cut out the unimportant parts of the image, uh, this uh, top uh, and uh, bottom spacings. Uh, and on the GIF here, you can see that there's a lot of time uh, while the ball is flying from agent uh, to the, the other side and back uh, when it's, um, it is unimportant what the agent does actually. Yeah, so it can, can stuck in the, uh, in the bottom of the picture and just wait for the ball to come back. Uh, and here is the resulting model architecture. It uh, has uh, roughly uh, the same amount of trainable parameters as the A3C baseline. Uh, and it uses uh, just convolutions to encode uh, states uh, and uh, LSTMs followed by linear dense laws in blocks A, R, and V. And uh, so we can see that the R block takes only seven values as its input, uh, sex actions, action probabilities, and one value estimation at each step. And uh, here are the results for comparing the baseline with the proposed algorithm. Uh, we can see that uh, the proposed curiosity mechanism uh, makes training faster, especially at the beginning where it is mostly important to distinguish between the important and unimportant states. Uh, yeah, and at the end of the training, uh, these additional rewards uh, uh, just become not so helpful and uh, so uh, the, the curves match. Uh, and uh, here are the results for different epsilon values. Uh, the epsilon parameter regulates uh, uh, how much uh, this additional reward will be, how much of this uh, additional reward will be added to the uh, v block class and uh, uh, we can see that uh, even small values of an additional reward uh, help us to speed up the training but if we add too much of a of an additional reward it uh, uh, becomes comparable to the original uh, reward uh, uh, that's uh, V block tries to predict, and it spoils our V value uh, 
uh, value function estimations and destabilizes training. Uh, as a conclusion, we can say that present mechanism helps us to utilize data better with uh, uh, the A2C algorithm on this Pong environment. Uh, and it also introduces a kind of a partial observable MTP framework, yeah, where, can, where the block can only observe uh, these inactions for use uh, in curious techniques. Uh, and uh, we think that future it needs to be tested in the other environments, and maybe we we'll, can try to uh, train the R block in an offline manner. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you, Andrew. Do we have in the auditorium uh, questions, please? I'm just being curious. Uh, there were also a parameter gamma. What does it yeah. stand for? Uh, yeah, the gamma is uh, the standard uh, discount factor used in uh, the A3C algorithm. Uh, yeah, and uh, it, uh, it stands for the horizon, uh, the horizon of planning for of the agent uh, uh, is uh, depends on this parameter gamma. Uh, well, here we used only gamma equal to uh, zero point ninety nine, uh, so uh, you can treat this as a, as a whole as a one parameter. And why 0.99? Is it such, is there some specific reason, or it's just? Uh, it's just a common common value because uh, uh, we always want our agent to uh, to look away uh, as far as it can. Yeah, and uh, with uh, gamma equal to 0.99 we can plan on uh, uh, kind of on a hundred steps forward and it uh, suits the task. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there some specific reason why it's not the one? It, if gamma is one, it breaks something or more than one? Uh, yeah, it uh, should not be one. Uh, well, uh, you'd better Mm. Yeah, yeah. So no, you you can you just can't uh, look uh, forwards on uh, at the infinity. Infinite yeah, yeah. horizon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can you you can't use the infinite horizon because uh, it's will be unpredictable. Fine. Thanks. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you, Sabatier. Is there any other question? Okay, if there is any other question, maybe we can ask if uh, some of the speakers are present now in the room. That is 